Not all Marfi designs are created equal. Some Marfi appliances have four implants or tabs that connect to the pallet. Some Marfi appliances have six implants or tabs. Some Marfi appliances connect only to the pallet, and some appliances connect to the pallet as well as the gear. So how do we go about designing a Marfi appliance? In certain cases, it's going to be difficult to open the pallet suture, and in some cases, it's going to be easy to open up the pallet suture. In general, younger patients and women will actually be easier to get the pallet to open up. Older patients, and if you're a male, it'll be on the average more difficult to open the pallet. If we're expecting a pallet to be easy to open up, we will be more likely to use four implants. If we expect a pallet to be more difficult to open up, we will use six implants. If we are expecting a pallet to be more difficult to open up, we will also be more likely to have the Marfi connect to both the pallet and the teeth. When a Marfi appliance connects to the pallet and the teeth, we call that a banded Marfi. Sometimes we not only need to expand the pallet, but if we have teeth that are leaning in, we might want to lean them back out. In that particular case, we can actually use the bands on the teeth to upright the teeth. That would be a reason to use a banded Marfi. One of the benefits of an unbanded Marfi, that is an appliance that only connects to the pallet, is we can actually place clear braces or Invisalign on the teeth since the appliance is not getting in the way. It's very advantageous to be able to move the teeth around at the same time the Marfi is expanding the pallet so that our patient does not get large spaces in between their teeth. Obviously, nobody wants to have large gaps get in between their teeth. And additionally, once you actually create a lot of space to bring those teeth back together, it becomes very difficult. Sometimes you'll just lean the roots of the teeth back in. Let's just take a couple cases to make sure you get the point. For example, we're treating, treating a 22-year-old female who has a lot of width-wise discrepancy. Like in other words, her palate is very, very, very narrow. If we're expecting that case to be easy to move, that is easy for the suture to open up. So in that particular case, we would be highly likely to use four implants, use a non-banded Marfi, and as soon as we can verify that the palate is moving, we will introduce our Invisalign or clear aligner so we can move the teeth around at the same time the palate is expanding. Let's say on the other hand, we have a 50-year-old male patient who has a very narrow palate. In this particular case, we're going to be expecting that palate suture to be much more difficult to open up. And less predictable. So in that particular case, we're going to not use four implants or micro screws. We're going to use six. That gives us better anchorage on the pallet. And additionally, we're going to have the Marfi sit upon the teeth. That is, we're going to use a banded Marfi design. That will give us the most leverage so we can really put the pressure to open the pallet. Sometimes with the best efforts over a long period of time, which could be a couple weeks to two to four months, the suture is stubborn and does not open up. So in those particular cases, what we will need to do is, is do another procedure called a corticotomy. It's kind of hard to pronounce. A corticotomy is a procedure where we'll take an ultrasonic or a piezo instrument. People may know what these are because those are the instruments we use to like clean teeth with water spray. And what we'll do is we'll go up and down the suture and we'll whittle away literally at the ligaments that connect the right and left sides of the palate. Most of the time, we will not be cutting all the way through the palate, but just cutting through some of the, of the ligaments, and that makes it easier to stretch and open the palatal suture. Usually what I find is after doing this procedure, we are able to get the palate opening in a very short period of time. In certain cases where we believe that the palate is very unlikely to open, we may do the corticotomy at the beginning of the procedure at the time we place the marfi. In most cases, we will not do the corticotomy until we've made an attempt to open the suture with the Marfi. Once the palatal suture is open and moving, for patients who have a banded Marfi, we can actually make a cut and remove the banded parts of the Marfi, leaving in place the appliance that is connected only to the palate. At this point in time, we can introduce Invisalign or clear aligners and start moving the teeth around at the same time the palate is expanding. So as you can see, there are a lot of different design details to Marfi. There's not one size fits all. 